All right, so today's the day we're getting the R1 flash tuned here. We're gonna get it on a dyno and see what kind of results that we get. So if you're wondering why I'm flash tuning the bike, and the reason why I'm doing this is because when you get these bikes and you don't do anything to the ECUs, you're not getting the full performance out of these motors. I mean, the throttle bodies aren't opening 100%. Uh, these guys that can go in here and use these dynos and get into the ECU components, they can dial in the air fuel ratios and they can start opening up really big horsepower gains. Now, I'm not looking for anything astronomical. I'd be happy to get anything right in the lower 180, even if I got up to the 185 horsepower range. So let's go see what kind of horsepower gains we get. guys today is an exciting day for me because the r1 is officially flash tuned just to kind of give you some ideas of what i've done performance wise i've done the graves smog block off plates i have right here if you look my little cheap 250 dollar ebay exhaust and then i also installed a dna air filter so i'll be honest with you i'm a i'm a little nervous about riding this bike today because i have not ridden a flash tuned motorcycle since my last R1, and I know that my 14 R1 did not put out the horsepower that this bike did. All right, so I got to go under here and turn TCS to off. There we go. I got a little, got some chills, to be honest with you. All right. Let it warm. 
warm up a little bit. We'll just see if we can get through the vehicles here. All right, all right, where are we gonna go? Okay, I know that the R1 is the slower of all the leader bikes. So my expectations on the dyno were not high 180s or even in the 190s, that's silly. Not to mention I have my little cheap eBay exhaust, which I probably forfeited a couple horsepower by not buying, you know, a full larger can, so to speak. And so the results that I ended up getting were 181.8 on the dyno for horsepower to round it up say 182 that's exactly what my expectations were i'm happy with that and i'm as old as i am i mean i'm knocking on 50s door and so for me to have 182 horsepower so to speak ha ah, man i'm stoked Ooh, the throttle's smooth okay all right i'm gonna stop over here and get some gas and then we're gonna we're gonna see what this is all about I'm not sure what those people are doing. I think they're having car problems. Yeah. Just when you think you got it bad, people, it could be worse. Let's see what we got here. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god, I barely was in it. I mean. Oh my goodness gracious, I lost my stomach and pulled a muscle in my leg at the same time. <laughs> my God. I mean, I was barely in it. I mean, it just took off. I wasn't expecting that, but that was, uh, that was interesting. Okay, we'll go up here and try it again. All right. Saki, Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, you go get a flash tune and you're gonna have a monster. Holy crap! No, this is crazy. Alright, like I'm gonna get out here. I got the straightaway here, let this truck pass by, and then I'm gonna do like a I'm gonna do a third gear pool for 60 and see what it does. Alright, let's get up. Oh man. All right, here we go, we're 60, here we go, let's get down, ready? Just the way I need them, just for me. 
wow, this, this is insane. I can tell you before the tune, whenever you get on it, like it just, it lulled, like it just, I just would not get going, like it had this lag. There's no lag. As soon as you grab that throttle, twist that sucker back, it is gone. Woo! That was a wild ride. I mean, the difference between having it flashed and not having it flashed is night and day. The throttle response is amazing. I mean, I lost my stomach several times just going through those gears. Uh, it's hot. I mean, South Texas, 100 degrees almost. I'm going to tell you what, that ride was one of the best rides I've ever had on an R1. And I cannot wait to get up next to some of my homeboys that don't have a flash tune and show them what this bike has. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video.